Hi, my name is um, Sunto Onubogu. I am the director of Inevitable, the short film. Um, Inevitable is a short story about a young lady who is um, apparently very um, ambitious and uh, relentless in pursuing her own personal pursuits. How are you just badging and start yelling at me? I got fired and you got promoted. Do you think I'm a fool? It's not like that. How would you even come to that kind of conclusion or think such a thing? Are you really lying this? So, um, she goes through great lengths to get promoted at the expense of her boyfriend and it gets her into trouble. At the end of the day, the inevitable eventually happens to her. Working with other cast members and crew was very easy on this set, you know, because like I said, no one was rude, no one was bombing, but everyone was down to earth, you know, everyone was cool, everything was flowing, and I think maybe because we had met before to meet and talk about ourselves, so it was easier on set because we now were familiar with, with each other, so it wasn't... It wasn't a tough thing or hard, it was fun working with them and I'd love to work with them again. Both the cast members and the crew, everyone was cool. Everyone was cool. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> David was the boyfriend of Lady. Lady was this uh, cheating and very wicked girlfriend who stole office documents and got promoted at her place of work and David got entrenched so it was a very bad day for David you know uh, he got fired and uh, you know my other colleagues are wonderful guys from Sonto a maker and every all the act the actors Buki Moyo and every one of us, everybody was cooperating. We just wanted to do something to make the, the, the script work, to make the movie work, you know. So we did our best. The experience was worth it, you know. I enjoyed every bit of it, you know. The rescheduling and all, because, you know, we had few issues, but we were able to pull through to the end, you know. You know, thank God. The most, I think the most, um, interesting part of this entire ordeal was was when we had to switch whenever we had to switch from Nepa to Jen. You're the only person in that office. Don't they know that you have a family at home? Eh? It was it was it, it wasn't something that I had by game four. It you know you would plan stuff in your head that oh even if there's no light you just put on the gen but the gen affected so many things the lights the, um, the sound uh, we had to walk our way around all those challenges and when you by the time you see the film you be like oh, so you don't know all the sweat and blood that went into it but I still thank God that we were able to pull through at the end of the day. Working with uh, the director Sonto, okay, that, that was my first time, you know, working with um, Sonto, and um, and it was a wonderful, you know, it's a wonderful guy. He is a wonderful guy, a very pleasant guy, and um, you know, for me, I don't sound in several um, in several production, you know, but you know, for me, you know, when he told me to do the sound, I was. You know, the fact that you could believe the fact that I could do it, you know, so I, I did my best. And uh, we had, just like I said earlier, we had issues, but then, you know, working with Sumto is just a calm, cool headed guy, no wala, you know. He, he's a cool guy, and I'll probably want to work with him again, you know, other movies and all. Maybe not as a sound guy.
Um, well, the most challenging part of the production, I would say challenging because it was fun, but it was um, when I had to pull off a stunt. I can't tell you exactly what it is because I'd want you to watch it and not ruin it for you. I had to pull off some stunts I'd never done before, and the director seemed to kept saying, Okay, you have to do this this way, and I was like, Oh my god, am I basically gonna. I'm not going to tell you what it is, but yeah, that was that was like kind of challenging but fun. In playing the role of David, I think the most challenging area was immersing myself in the character of David because I don't like being lied to and being cheated on, and lied did just that. So you know, it was challenging coming into that David character, and then apart from the regular stress of moving from location, one location to the other, that also works in the Yeah, okay. How do I rate this movie, the film? Um, you know, it's a short, short film. I think this is a first um, try from um, Somto. I, you know, I can't do the ratings now because, of course, it's just like me reviewing myself or reviewing the production I've been into. But I assure you, it's a movie worth watching. You know, you know, it's a short film. It's a first experience into production by Somto and all. And I'm sure for everything he had put into all this thing, you know, you know, so many things, the cast, the crew and every other person, you don't want to miss it. Probably just want to see it, you know. It will, it will be worthwhile for you to watch it. Okay guys, uh, thanks for watching BTS and I hope you watch the film. You'll have to watch the film because it is a great story. It is going to inspire you, it is going to touch you in lots of ways. And I really, really would like for you to watch it. And you can get back to us telling us what you think about the movie. If you don't think it's great, you can come and buy it us after, but I'm sure you will enjoy it. Thank you and stay tuned. I haven't seen it yet. But I know that everything will be in places. Uh, an Oscar for this one. So that day I will, I will go on stage and give my very robust, long speech. But I think it's going places in uh, Africa. An Oscar for this one. How would I rate this film? Of course, I would rate it highly. It's my own film, of course. But I would, I would want you all to to give us your honest feedback what do you think we did right what do you think we did wrong and how can we improve that's that's basically what we are here for so i think for for a first go at filmmaking i think we did our very best and this uh, this film is something worth watching worth a mention in the sphere of with better experiences better exposure we would do a lot more better than we did today so um, from me Sonto Shocks on board, the director of Inevitable I would just want you guys to watch it enjoy it and if you didn't if, and if you don't enjoy it still challenge somebody to go and watch it and hear what they say about it. So, thanks for seeing, coming behind the scenes with us and seeing all the ceremony. Peace. And cut. cut. Also, the this thing, this sound thing was able to pick up my voice because even me, I was struggling to hear myself.